Good morning, y'all. Let me put my windows up. Cause I feel like I'm about to busy behind highway too. Mm -mm. I want y'all to hear me. <laughs> How y'all doing? Just to let you know, baby, I voted. I made sure I did what I was supposed to do. I told you in my last video what I said yesterday. I said that I was going to come out today and vote. Not for me. I'm not voting for me. This is for the people that can't vote. And they got something going on where they can't do it themselves. I'm that person that's doing it for them. I'm doing it for my ancestors that did it for us. Like, paved the way to do it for us. <laughs> Hello? I came over here to have me a nice little breakfast. And I was like, you know, today's a new day. Bring out the camera. Mm-hmm. You said you was going to do it, right? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I said I was going to do it. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to stand on the word. I'm trying to stand on my word. When I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm trying to make sure. Not trying. I am doing what I say I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. It is. What time is it this morning? 8.24. I've been up since five something this morning. I read my daily scripture. I talked to God about what I'm grateful for. I said a prayer. I know I shouldn't be eating while I'm talking to y'all. And I, I apologize. So I'm gonna put this right on down. Just so I can have my moment with y'all today. When I get back home, I got work to do. I have work to do. I gotta make sure I'm putting out my other videos that I told y'all I'm gonna put out. I'm just trying to make sure I'm showing up. Showing up. Showing up and showing out because... I've done, said I was going to do something for years and didn't do it. I do stuff for a little while and then I stop. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That is it. Whatever I say I'm going to do, it's going to get done. There is no more procrastinating. There is no more waiting around. How is God going to bless us if we ain't doing it? If we're not putting in the work? Didn't they say... Faith without work is dead. Faith without work is dead. So if I got the faith, but I'm not putting the work in, I'm just wishing upon a star. I'm just like, okay, God, I need you to do something in my life. I need you to help me out. But baby girl, you ain't doing nothing. You have the ability to do something. Okay? Okay. Get up, get up off your tail and get things done. That's all he wants us to do is do work, 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 work. And of course, he wants us to do it all for his good, all for his will. Listen, I'm 40 years old and a lot of stuff that when I was growing up in the church, and they giving us these scriptures. I didn't understand. But the 40 year old sharing today. Baby I understand. <laughs> I understand. I might not understand everything. And when I don't understand. Of course I go to Jesus. And at some point he's going to be talking back to me. Like yes um, baby girl. Um, This is what I mean. Okay. Yeah this, this is what it means. Uh huh. But. What am I trying to say, Lord? Huh? What am I trying to say? Mm. I'm, I'm right at Burger King. It's crazy because I'm looking right at the sign that says, your way. I've been trying to do it my way this whole entire time. Ever since I drifted off out of the church some years ago, 
And before that, some years ago again. Ever since that, I'm trying to maneuver through life going Sharon's way. <laughs> Not thinking it needs to be God's way. Thinking, for real, for real, when I was a kid, like, it's hard. It's, it's, it's going to be hard to be a follower of Christ. And not saying that we ain't going to have some trials and tribulations because the devil going to be after us, okay? He going to be after us because he don't want us to follow Christ. <laughs> no, he don't. But I'm willing to put up the fight, okay? I'm willing to go in, okay? There is no more have it Sharon's way. There is no more have it your way. It's all about God's way. We cannot be like Burger King and have it your way. No, it's God's way or no way. Period. I'm learning that. I'm learning that as I get older, Lord. And thank you, Lord, that guess what? No matter what we go through, no matter how many times we don't turn our back on God, God has always been faithful. I just watched a, a video from Pastor uh, Michael Todd on Instagram. And he was saying how God is faithful. And I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, indeed. Like, no matter how many times we don't messed up, no matter how many times we don't turn our backs on him, no matter how many times, he is always there. Woo! He's always there. He wants us to go in the right direction. He might see that, that we're making these detours. Oh, well, <laughs> you making that detour, uh, guess what? It's going to take you longer to get to where you want to go because you ain't trying to follow me. You're not trying to follow me. Listen, when I tell you, every day I've been crying. And a lot of these happy tears. Like, it all started out with sad tears. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, this person has moved on. I have no, I no longer have access to him. He's a good man. Okay. Girl, guess what? Move on. And I have since then. Do I still have those, you know, a little bit of thoughts like, you know, what it could have been like a year? Eventually, all of that will be gone. But after I dealt with that, I had to get up out of it. Because I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Baby, don't move, no. And I do too. I need to move on. So I'm like, Lord, help me with these thoughts. Help me get over this like for real for real because whatever you have for me is gonna be for me i don't know, even know what kind of person this man is to this day you know what i'm saying like back then i knew who he was but i don't know who he is today i'm not saying that he's a bad person or whatever but i'm just saying and i'm done with all that but what i'm saying about my tears is that right now these are happy tears because no matter what i've went through all these years Thinking that I can do it on my own. I'm an independent woman. And I am that woman. I'm strong. I'm independent. But guess what? I still need God. At the end of the day. At the beginning of the day. At the middle of the day. Any time in between. That means all day. 24-7. 365. I need God. And I just kept shutting them out. Shutting them out. Shutting them out. For what? I don't know. Because I just thought I could do life without him. Not saying that I don't give thanks to him. Because I surely do. But I'm not letting him have his way. I'm not letting him use me. Oh, this was not supposed to be one of those videos. At some point, y'all going to get sick and tired of me coming on this daggone channel. On my videos with tears. But I know this is for somebody. This ain't just for me. This is for somebody out there. Whoever's watching this video. I know my steering wheel in the way. We're not even going to worry about that. I'm going to get me another tripod where I can put it up. And you know. Stuff ain't going to be in the way. You're just going to be able to see all of me. Okay. But anyway. I know y'all ain't worried about that right now. I just caused a distraction. But what I'm trying to say is that I know oh, I keep coming on here with my tears and all of that. But God is working on me. Okay? He is working on me. 
Oh, Lord. But I thank him. I thank him because guess what? He ain't ever gave up on me. He ain't ever gave up on you. Oh, Lord. Do you know how many people have given up on us? So many people have given up on us. Oh, she ain't going to amount to nothing. Oh, he ain't going to amount to nothing. Oh, forget him. Oh, you know, uh-huh. The users, the users, the abusers. I talked about this yesterday. The people that are sucking you dry. I told y'all to do what? Tell them to exit stage left. Get, get the heck up out of my life, okay? Go. Don't even entertain them. Go. See you. Bye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wish you well, but you got to go. You can't be in my circle. You can't be in my environment. You can't be in my bubble. Okay? But anyway, oh, Lord, this, this is not, I haven't had a day yet in November without a tear. Okay? And majority of it has been happy tears. Thank you, Jesus. Majority of my tears have been happy tears. But I'm just saying, like, Lord, and you already know I'm an emotional person, Lord. You know that I'm an emotional person, Lord. And I keep asking him, why am I an emotional person? I, I don't know. There's a reason. I just don't know. Like, why am I so emotional? At some point, he's going to give me the answer. But I'm a strong woman, okay? But even strong women, they have soft spots. You feel me? Like, you can't be strong all day long. At some point, you got to let your guard down. You got to just, you know, <laughs> be vulnerable. And I'm not afraid to be vulnerable. Really around anybody, for real. But anyway, y'all. I guess this this video took me where I needed to go for you. If it's just one person, if this reaches one person, I'm cool. Like, just know that you are not alone. Oh, Lord. I'm supposed to eat my little breakfast, okay? Getting my life together. Just eat my breakfast, listen to my, my music. God told me to turn on the camera. Yeah, I know it was you, God. Turn on the camera. Talk to your girls, your boys in the back. Tell them what's on your mind. Like, I don't always have to be talking about the best smell good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love those types of videos. I love that connection that we have here. But I gotta be real. Like, real, real. Like, What's hiding behind your smile? Hurt, pain. Tired of being used. That's why I said I will not be used no more by these people. They don't deserve, they don't deserve me. They don't deserve to be in my presence. No, not if you're gonna use me. No, I deserve to be surrounded by people that love me, that care for me, that want nothing but the best for me. And I want nothing but the best for them. I love and care for them. I need positive vibes, not negative energy. No. And I always try to put that out there, positive vibes all the time. Like, when I'm at work, positive vibes all day. Like, yeah, sometimes, you know, customers might <laughs> get on my nerves. An employee might get on my nerves. And for real, for real, it's really not that serious. Like, seriously, it's really not that serious. So I try to just, you know, shake it off and keep it pushing. And still keep putting out the positive energy because God is so good to us. Like, for real, for real. Waking us up every day. When a lot of us didn't even wake up this morning, he woke us up yet another day. 
Every time you see a video, that means he don't woke me up today. Every time you're watching, that means he woke you up today. Every time you comment, that means he woke you up today. We got a new day for a new start to do something better for our lives. Better for our lives, better for our family lives. Because whatever we do, it's going to benefit them as well. Anyway, y'all. Girl, sis, is you right? Okay, let me let me put my little glasses back on. Um, I love y'all, like for real. Y'all have my heart for real. I look when I tell y'all I love y'all, and I'm my fingers. It, look at my little greasy fingers. They was all up on my little hash brown. When I tell y'all I love y'all, I mean it for real. Like y'all make my heart so warm. It fills it up for real, for real. Whew. And to know that what I'm doing is make a di making a difference. I never would have thought, for real, for real. Never would have thought. If you could have told me this 20 years ago, that today, Sharon will be making a difference. Like, not saying that I ain't making a difference in people's lives that I'm already in, but I'm talking about worldwide that I can make a difference whoever that's watching my video I would have told you yeah right not me not the person that don't want to speak in front of other people and I know that I'm in a room by myself but when I'm on my camera talking to you guys I can reach anybody as soon as I uh, uh, upload the video anybody can watch my videos and get something from it and as long as I'm helping somebody that's all that matters to me. And of course, it's God's way, not mine. It's God's will, not mine. I have to keep saying it because that's what I want. Like, that's what I need. Not only want, but that's what I need. God to have his way in my life. God to have his will and not mine. Like, it's not about me. At the end of the day, it's not about me. Shoot, at the beginning of the, of the day, it's not about me. In the middle of the day, it's not about me. It's about what God can do through me and what God can do through you for real, for real, for real, for real. I guess, Lord, you brought me a Burger King for, for a reason, huh? <laughs> so I can see where it says your way, right? Your way, not mine. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I don't talk to y'all heads up enough, Okay. I'm doing what I said I'm going to do, putting out this video today. And later on, y'all going to get another video. The grind don't stop. It will not stop. I have so much more to talk about, to show you guys all of that. <laughs> I got so much more, y'all. I just thank each and every one of you guys for the subscribe the subscribe you're subscribed to me to my channel to my platform i'm thankful for every comment i make sure i reply back to every comment i don't want y'all to to think that i'm not thinking about y'all that what y'all say don't matter because it does when we talk about our sense and stuff how excited we get about it i love that i want us to get excited about god as well so i I'm just putting putting it out there. I'm just putting it out there because when I tell you God is so good. When everybody else left, he stayed. He ain't ever left. He said he would never forsake us. He would never leave us, never forsake us. He would never leave and he would never forsake us. That speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. And what I tell you, when you think you by yourself, you're not alone, sis. You're not alone, bro. Whoever's watching this video, you're not alone. That's why we got to take it all to him. You know how we tell our best friends, our uh, uh, family, our whoever that we have in our life, our husband, our wife, our girlfriend, our boyfriend, whoever it is, we tell them about everything. 
And sometimes when we do talk about things to those people, of course, they're going to have opinions. They're going to tell us what they think about the situation. Sometimes it's stuff that we don't want to hear. But we don't always have to take everything to them. It's good that we have outlets. But our main outlet, our main source needs to be, we need to take everything to God. Praying about everything. And all praying is, is a communication with him. You can talk to him just like we're talking right now. The prayers are going to go up. He hears everything. He knows our minds. He knows our hearts. He knows our intentions. He knows our desires. He knows it all. He's the creator. He created all of us. Before we was even in our mother's womb. He knew. That there was going to be a Sharon. There was going to be a you. There was going to be a you. There was going to be a you. There was going to be a they. There was going to be a we. There was going to be a us. There was going to be a him or her. Okay. He knew. And the crazy part for me, <laughs> the crazy part for me is that when my mom, Lord rest her soul, my mom passed away when I was a year old. So I, I don't even know my mom, right? Only stories of what my family have told me about her. But when my mom and my father conceived me, my mom did not expect to have any more kids. She had her tubes tied. Okay? Her tubes were tied after my brother. I have older siblings. My brother is 13 years older than me. He was supposed to be the baby. So I thought. Until God said, I need a sharing in life. I need a sharing here. Okay? So even after my mom thought that it was over, <laughs> thought that I'm not having more kids. Here comes Big Head Sharon. Okay. Tube side. I wonder what she was even thinking about knowing that her tubes were tied. I don't want any more kids. She's married to my dad. I don't want any more kids. I'm sure they had that conversation at some point. Oh, Lord. Just to think about it. Somebody's tubes is already tied up. Like they're saying, I'm done. We're having kids. And then one day, <laughs> you feel something going on. Your period probably ain't came on. I don't know the story, but I'm just like piecing it together. Like, I'm just thinking about how was she thinking? How was she feeling when she knew that she was going to have another child? I don't know. I never even brought this up. Like, oh God, thank you, Lord. I never even thought about this for real. I didn't think about like, what did my mom think about when she knew that she was going to have another child, even though she was done? She said, I'm done having kids. If she wasn't done, she wouldn't have had a tube tied. And then, some kind of way through Jesus. God said, No, you go have one more baby. You gonna have one more child. I'm gonna put your tubes back together so you can have just one more child. Cause I need Sharon. I need her here. Oh my God. <laughs> I know my life is precious. I'm here for a reason. So many reasons, but I know I'm here for a reason. <laughs> I'm just tired of crying, y'all. I'm tired of crying, but it's okay. 
It's okay. These are happy tears. I'm trying to tell you these are happy tears. I thank the Lord that I'm here. I thank the Lord that he's put me here for a reason. I'm on this journey for a reason. Thank you, Lord. That's all I can say is thank you, Lord. I was supposed to be closing this out 15 minutes, <laughs> 10 minutes ago. I said 15. I seen the 15. I'm like, okay, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? Now that I told y'all some more of my business, but it's meant to be told. Y'all don't know me from a can of paint. Y'all only know what I allow you to see. What I allow y'all to know from what I'm, you know, what I'm talking about, what's on my mind, stuff like that. But just to know. That my mom did not plan on having any more kids after her baby boy. And then 13 years later, here I come. <laughs> here comes the big head baby, baby. And I was not my pounds. I think. Yeah. I was not my pounds. I'm sure that's what my people have told me. I'm, I was not my pounds. Either eight or nine. One of them. Here comes the big old <laughs> big head Sharon. Okay. That's because God already put it in, I guess, the universe. He put it in the world, baby, that Sharon is going to be here. I need her here even before you were placed in your mama's womb. And that's all of us. Even before we were placed in our mother's womb, he knew that we are here. We were, he, he, he wanted us to be here. Not our parents wanted us to be here. He wanted us to be here because we all have a purpose. We all have a reason to be here. No matter what you're going through, I'm trying to tell you, take it to Jesus. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the, the creator, the, the Lord of Lords, honey, the King of Kings, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take it to him. I'm trying to tell you, you having them suicidal thoughts, take it to God. You're depressed, take it to God. You're happy, take it to God. You're angry, take it to God. You're mad, take it to God. You're sad, take it to God. You're excited, take it to God. You're horrified, take it to God. You're terrified, take it to God. You're blessed, take it to God. You're thankful, take it to God. You're grateful, take it to God. Take it to him. I'm about to get off this video. Y'all seeing snot and stuff running in my mouth. I still got these daggone hash browns because I'm ready to eat, okay? But I just feel like I had to tell y'all this. And it's crazy because my younger self would not have ever, okay? Not have ever jumped on a camera, started crying on the camera, started telling you about my personal life on the camera. But it's just not about me. It's not about me. God wants this to happen for a reason. If any of you guys, and I know God is always there. You can always talk to him. But if any of you guys, for real, for real, y'all need somebody else to talk to. You need a friend. You just need some, even if you don't count me as a friend, you just need somebody you can just talk to about anything. I'm here. We can exchange social media. I have Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook. Even though I'm really not active on Facebook like that. I just share stuff on Facebook and just get off. But I, <laughs> I am active on my Snapchat now because I reopened my Snapchat. So you can reach me on Snapchat at Miss Natural Shay. You can reach me on TikTok at Miss Natural Shay. You can reach me on instagram at miss natural shay and of course you can reach me here down in the comment section below because y'all know i love to chit chat with y'all <laughs> but at any time y'all just want to talk y'all don't have you know you don't have an outlet you're just like i just need somebody to talk to chat i'm here for real i'm here so anyway y'all we about to hit the 30 mark. And guess what? I'm not chopping this up. It is what it is. 
I did what I was supposed to do today because I said I was going to put a video out today. Today is November the 5th. I want you guys to go out and vote if you haven't already. Okay, I know it's early. It's 8.53 to be exact. Let me get this thought out my daggone nose because baby. <laughs> Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Okay? This is not how I want my people to be seeing me. But it's all good. It is what it is. Y'all can call me a crybaby if you want. I'm sure I've been called worse. And that's okay. That's okay. But yeah. I love you guys. I'm, I'm going to cut it off right here because we had 30 minutes. I love you guys. I hope you all have a beautiful, positive, productive day on purpose. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Chit chat down below. If you want me to follow your social media. If you want to just send me a DM. I'm cool with all of that. I check my snaps and all of that. So, and I respond back. So, <laughs> it ain't just, you know, go over there, follow me, and then that's it. No. If you just need an ear to listen, I didn't even know Snapchat, you could talk on the phone. We could FaceTime. I didn't even know that. I know it with the others, Instagram, you can do that too. If y'all want to do that at any time, of course, as long as I'm available. And if I'm not available, then I will make sure that I'm available at some point in my day to just reach out to you guys. But anyway, I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Peace.